Ship on course, sir. We'll reach DC point at 1701. Hello, Vinyl Community. I'm back again with another VCLT video. Uh, this time it comes from Dr. Robert. And uh, if you don't know uh, Dr. Robert, you gotta check out his channel. Uh, by far, uh, he probably spends the most time editing his videos. I'm always amazed with what he can do. <laughs> I'd really like to know some of his tricks uh, because they're just stellar. Um, but if you don't know uh, Dr. Robert, here you go. Check this out. It's late. I'm so tired. Here's the end of my time. Oh, I'm falling apart. Don't be sad. Please don't cry. So, Dr. Robert sent me this nice note uh, a couple months ago saying that he was going to send me two items uh, kind of in response to uh, my VCLT, which was not necessary, by the way. Uh, but he said I would receive two things. And uh, along with his letter, uh, he sent me two ticket stubs, and he is very adept at making replicas. <laughs> so he sent me uh, Barry Manilow. <laughs> Uh, which I thought was kind of funny because uh, I think the day he sent it uh, or the day it arrived here Barry had just announced that he had he was coming out and like we didn't know so <laughs> and the other one is this uh, Doors uh, ticket stub which I thought was very cool so uh, so along with each item he said hey you gotta open this up so he got he's sending me a CD and an LP so I got them here and uh, here is the CD, and I am just going to open up his note. And uh, yeah, so this is cool. Okay, <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. So uh, I have not heard telephone, uh, and Dr. Robert just picked up this huge box set, like right here. And the Telephone is one of those classic French bands that, you know, we here in the United States never had access to. So, yes, I am excited to hear this. And this is uh, their live album. So he talked about this at length. And so this should give me a good sampling of what the band is about. So I'm looking forward to it. So thank you very much. Um, yeah. Now for the LP. Oh, cool. It's a translated book. And uh, let me crack the LP open. We got a little Sarah's Gainsbourg action here. Oh, <laughs> this is classic early Serge. Um, if you guys don't know Serge Gainsbourg, um, in terms of French music, he's kind of the one to start with. He's probably the most iconic. He is the the Bob Dylan of France, but uh, he takes things in a little more risque direction in the late 60s and 70s. So he was very diverse over the course of his career. And uh, this just happens to be one of my favorite songs by his uh, from the earlier part of his career. Um, I do not have this one. Um, I think I have a couple of the tracks on a, on a comp, uh, but I am looking forward to spinning it. So, uh, yeah, this one and the telephone one, uh, I will try and give you guys a little bit, uh, a little bit of a sample, so catch you on the flip side. So it's been a couple of weeks now, and I'm back uh, to talk about these wonderful uh, records that uh, Dr. Robert has passed to me. And the first one I want to talk about is the uh, Telephone album. And this is just fantastic. Um, it has that nice 80s punk glam rock feel to it. Um, you know, if I were to come up with an analog to it, I wanted 
I would say that it's probably early 80s clash that's what it feels like but you know it's more than that I mean it's like it has elements of grunge there's some nice chord progressions in terms of some of the music um, you know I have to thank you for this and you know I'm going to be looking into their studio catalog now and you know this is just an example of you know wonderful music that is out there that you know exist in other countries that it just does not make it over here in the United States so uh, I do want to play a couple of tracks off this album for you uh, at least two of the tracks that I particularly enjoyed and maybe this will give some of you others a feel for what this album is like and you know sorry it's coming from a CD player so you know I can't show you the CD spinning <laughs> so uh, yeah I'll show some photos of the band in the background so here's Telephone Now I want to talk about this album. So, uh, when I did the first part of this video several weeks ago, uh, I made kind of the off comment that it sounded Serge was like Bob Dylan, and it's true to some regard. But his music is not at all like Bob. In fact, I, I hate making a comparison here because Serge is an original, and no, he was not. In terms of musical, uh, his musical pursuits, he was not like Bob Dylan, but he was, in some regards, an agent provocateur. And, you know, if I were to come up with an analog, uh, it would be Madonna, because he was very provoking in a way, and his music is not like Madonna. He predates Madonna, so maybe, you know, Madonna got some of her stuff from him. <laughs> anyway, um, this is very early Serge. And this is when he was a crooner, and uh, this is kind of in the vein of a small jazz ensemble. Uh, but he evolved immensely over his career, and I was excited about this album, in particular for this, this track right here. Um, the reason why I want to point out this track was, this is where I got exposed to Serge for the first time over a decade ago. And I got exposed to a remix of that particular song, uh, from this short comp here by Bugalox, uh, which is, this is a German comp of four uh, German artists. So here I want to play you the original, and the original is fantastic, and it's nice to hear it, because what uh, Bugalox does with it is he, he, he takes it up a notch, but you know, it's cool to hear the stripped down original version of it so I'm going to play you the original here and then I'm going to play the Google Ox version so here you go non, rien n'aura raison de moi j'irai te chercher ma lolita chez les yeah yeah sous les tam tam de yeah 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 je fais du ram tam je me connais Sing, sing, je finirai. Ni les tam tam de yé yé yé, ni les gris gris que tu portais, d'adou ram ram que tu écoutais. So. Again, this is a small jazz ensemble. The record was pressed at GZ, which, you know, both Robert and, uh, or Paul, I should say, Dr. Robert uh, and I are not a fan of. I mean, 
Dr. Robert, I, I didn't find any hair with this one, <laughs> but it was pressed. It did clean up nicely. Uh, I, just to play another track from this, uh, I want to play Litaki Waki uh, for you, and it, you know, I am thankful you did this lyric book for me because this is about. Um, it's not about walkie talkies. It's about a kind of a you know obsessive love and you know loss of not being able to get the girl that you want and knowing that she's off doing something else uh, but uh, it is fantastic so here you go Quand j'entendais sa voix dans le talkie walkie j'étais heureux Jusqu'au jour où elle l'oublia près de son lit voici comment J'étais seul avec moi quand je décidais de l'appeler J'ai tout de suite compris ma douleur Je ne souhaite à personne Now for you guys in North America that aren't familiar with Surge If that didn't turn you on uh, There's a couple recommend recommendations that I have to get you into his music So, number one a record that I think that everybody should have in their collection is uh, History de Melody Nelson. Uh, this is probably the go-to album of Serge. Uh, you know it's good when there is an American reissue of this and Light in the Attic uh, caught it and they did a very very nice uh, gatefold reissue uh, of this entire album. This is This is not like what you previously heard. This is you know a nice fusion of rock. Um, there's some very poetic moments in there. It's it's a very wonderful listen. I highly recommend it. Now, you know, yes, it's all in French. Uh, the Light in the Attic version, uh, this version does have translations of all the lyrics in English. But you know, if you're looking to sample, you know, some of the stuff done in English, uh, what I recommend is this compilation and this is not Serge this is you know uh, Serge uh, revisited and it's you know a collection of other artists doing his songs and so as you can see here you got Michael Stipe you got Portishead, Cat Power, Karen Ellison, Franz Ferdinand uh, there's Placebo, The Kills, uh, Carla Bruni of course which is uh, French, but uh, this is all done in English, and these are very nice renditions of uh, Serge's songs. Uh, just to give you a sampling of what this is like, here you go. So that was Serge, uh, Dr. Robert, Paul, thank you very much. Uh, I enjoyed this immensely. Uh, all of the, the things that you gave me are going in with this album. And for my friends in North America, definitely give Serge uh, a try. Uh, for me, in terms of stature, he's one of the tops. He is unique. There is no one quite like him. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.